Hello, hello, hello. For today's video, I know that I say I'm excited a lot. I am a very excitable person, but I'm extremely excited about this video in particular because I have brainstormed this idea for a very long time. And finally, Today's the day that we execute it properly. Let me explain. I have decided that I want to draw a comic series, but I wanted to be able to involve you guys in the comic. Have you ever heard of a choose your own adventure book? It's those books that you read where you come to a decision. Go to page 27 if you want the character to pick up a rock. Go to page 109 if you want him to eat a cake and you kind of decide how the story plays out. I thought it'd be fun if we did something similar to that. The comic is going to be called Seaford's Bad Day. I am going to draw the opening scene. At the end, Seaford will have a decision to make and you guys will vote on what Seaford does in the next episode. I think this will make a little bit more sense as we get started with the episode, but I am so excited to do this and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is creating a new project in Clip Studio. The project's canvas has even dimensions, which means it's a square with length and width or equal geometry. And I'm actually sketching out 10 different scenes for our comic strip. The sketches are real rough sketches, so please don't actually pay too much attention to what is being drawn. A chicken. <laughs> I'm not creating these sketches to be super precise. I'm really just trying to get a general gist of the storyline, as well as the placement of the objects, and most importantly, the range of emotions that Seaford suffers. Since Clip Studio Paint uses layers, kind of like Photoshop, my approach to this was to start with the bottom layer, i.e. the hideous rug, and then move to the top. I feel that I cannot talk about this first scene without emphasizing that I hate the yellow rug. It is absolutely disgusting, and I knew that when I started coloring it. I hated it the whole time, but I kept it in, thinking, oh, maybe it'll all come together when I have everything colored. It won't. So everyone, please just ignore the yellow rug. It goes away. Besides the bed and the rug, I worked on several other objects in this room. There's a night table to the side of Seaford, and he also has a window to the outside world. You'll notice the window is actually of the ocean. Seaford is a sea turtle, so he does live under the sea. Outside his window, there are fish swimming by. The fish outside his window will become important in the next scene because Seaford actually has a fish friend. As you can see, Ferd, that was a terrible joke. As you can see, Seaford is sleeping in his bed very peacefully and nicely. He's even smiling in his sleep, just snoozing, having a grand old time. It seems like he doesn't have a care in the world. But as you can tell by the title, something is going to go wrong for Seaford on this bad day. In the next scene, we have Seaford being rudely awoken by his best friend. Well, one of his best friends. I don't know if this is actually his best friend, but he did create him in Top Chef. He does make a cock a doodle doo sound, which I understand makes no sense, but I like to think of him as a ocean rooster of sorts, or a sea peacock. He's something all right. And he has rudely awoken Seaford from his very peaceful sleep. He needs a name, Kevin. My goal for Kevin was to make him look absolutely insane. He's got that crazy look in his eye. And he has scared Seaford awake. All bad days start with a terrible night's sleep. Am I right? And for Seaford, that is exactly how his bad day begins. He has been rudely awoken by his... Friend. Because I know everyone is going to point this out, my phone is in the reflection of this, and also my air conditioning vent. I am so sorry. I did not notice that this was in it when I was filming, and now we all have to live with it. As you can see, I started off by coloring Seaford green, and then I used an airbrush in the center of Seaford, and this made it look like he had that blended effect that the squishy does have. I am by no means a Clip Studio paint or digital art expert at all. I am very much kind of figuring this out as I go, and I did figure out the airbrush tool could be used for blending around this scene. We're learning as we go. 
after I figured this out, it was a lot quicker to color Seaford in. You'll notice that Seaford is very angry and a little upset to the point of tears. I would say they're definitely tears of frustration. He is storming down the hallway like, you've gotta be kidding me. Kevin woke me up. I don't know how many times Kevin has done this, but you need to cut it out, man. To really emphasize that Seaford is storming down a hallway, I did give him some walking lines. And here we have Seaford with his hands up in fists, storming down a hallway. <laughs> In the next scene, we have Seaford very calmly standing in front of a mirror. And I have to say, this might be one of my favorite scenes, just because Seaford looks like he has calmed down a bit, but he also looks like he is so done. He's just taking a breather, you know, he's standing in the bathroom, exhausted, but also like, okay, maybe we can, maybe we can still have a nice day. Everything's fine. That's what it is. It reminds me of the meme, the dog, everything's like on fire and he's like, this is fine. That's Seifert. I utilized a new tool, the select tool. I selected Seifert's head and arms and then used the airbrush tool so that it didn't get on the rest of the objects in the scene. We're learning. Seaford shell has a dark blue outline with yellow under, not that yellow, undo, and we used a light pale yellow. I drew Seaford's reflection in the mirror. He looks like he is kind of calm, but also kind of furious underneath. I really enjoy this one. It just makes me laugh. In this next scene, I have a close up of Seaford's hands. Seaford has walked down the hall and into the bathroom because the first thing he wants to do in the morning is brush his teeth. To do that, he's taken out his purple toothbrush and his blue turtle paste. Unfortunately, this turtle paste has shot right past his toothbrush and up towards his face. That's very unlucky. This next scene is devastating. You'll notice in this scene, when I colored in Seaford, I successfully used all of the tools at my disposal. I used the select tool and the airbrush tool and really gave a good blended look to Seaford's face and body. The toothpaste is still flying through the air. So I wanna have some good zoomies on it. I don't know what you actually call those, like the air. Why do I call it a zoomie? I feel like that's not it. You know what I mean. Like it's zooming by right up towards his I that was an accidental rhyme so for this scene I wanted it to look really funny like he's like ah and I feel like we did achieve that it's simple but effective Seaford has gotten toothpaste into his eye okay so two things have gone wrong today but maybe maybe things can get better Seaford is a little bit upset and definitely a little bit discouraged by the two bad things that have happened so far this morning He's wiping toothpaste out of his eye as he walks down his hallway. He's got a little bit of a frown, but he's determined to still have a good day. We love an optimistic turtle. You hold your head up high there, Seaford. You're gonna be okay. So Seaford's a little upset, but he's walking down his hallway and into his bedroom. I like this scene because it shows just how small Seaford is. He doesn't even reach the doorknobs on his closet. He has his arms stretched up wide and he is really excited. You can just tell from his body language from behind. Seaford's got some good energy going and he's ready to open his closet and try on some clothes. What could go wrong? In the next scene, Seaford opens his closet. And this is really the only part of Seaford's bad day so far that feels like it's his fault. Just a little bit. Seaford is clearly a mess and he clearly cleans up by shoving everything into his closet. And it's finally come back to bite him because everything has exploded on top of him. But among the wreckage, we can see some items. These are items that Seaford can try on and wear in the next episode. And this is the part where you guys get to decide what happens in the story. You can go to the community tab and vote which outfit you think Seaford should wear. To finish this up, I aligned all of the scenes into a classic comic strip format. Seaford's bad day starts with him sleeping peacefully. He gets woken up by Kevin. He storms through the hall, stares in his bathroom mirror, goes to squirt his toothpaste and squirts it in his eye. He wipes it out of his eye, goes to open his closet and everything spills out on top of him. So now it's up to you to vote on the community tab for the outfit you like best. Keep in mind that this outfit will determine what Seaford does in the next episode. Some of these outfits do look like other squishies that I've created and that may come into play in the storyline in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this new series concept and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!